How's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chase and as you can tell it's pretty dark outside. It is currently 6.20 in the morning here in central Minnesota and I can tell it's just going to be a beautiful day. I'm actually about to head to the lake currently this morning to open one of my spear rental shacks for some customers and I figured since this is one of the last two weekends of spearing season here in Minnesota I figured I'd go out and open one of my other red shacks that isn't rented today and uh, do some spearing and some sight fishing myself. The panfish have really been moving through the past couple of days, you know, catching a nice lot of pumpkin seeds, some bluegills, mix of crappies, you know, a good mixture of different types of panfish. So I figured we'd go out there, do a little bit of sight fishing for those and potentially also get a bonus northern pike. You never know. Now, first things first, we gotta go open the hole and get the customer set up before we can do any fishing ourselves. But hey, gotta take care of the customers before you can do any fishing yourself. But Without further ado, let's head to the lake and get started. All right, welcome to one of my rental shacks. Time to open this hole up. tip if you're going to do spear house rentals in particular open your hole the day before you know you have renters coming so that way it's thin ice like this for example i came here yesterday and opened this hole and i had three inches of ice i had opened it two days before that And just like that, Spear Shack is set up and we're ready for some customers. Now I'm gonna go open my Spear House and wait for them to arrive. So let's go get that started. For this house, we're gonna use a classic red and white decoy. Yeah, you know all right. Yeah. All right, so I just got the client set up and ready to go. I'm gonna drop our decoy back down, fish here for maybe an hour or two this morning, and uh, see if we can't get ourselves a nice northern pike. I'm just gonna keep ripping out of this thing until something comes through, to be honest with you. But well, one thing I noticed so far this morning is that our panfish friends have all disappeared. Which is generally a good thing. Not if you wanna catch panfish, but there's pike moving through. Never mind, everyone. There's actually bluegills down there. We're gonna catch them now. There's some bluegills down there. We're gonna catch them. Yes, we are. No. Nope. Well, there you go. Hello. How are you doing today? I don't know. I just turned into a Swede or some type of Norse. Nor the uh, Swedish Norwegian heritage voice thing there. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, the other one coming up. Come on, bro. Yep. Yay! Number two. Check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Number two. In the sight hole. But now. They go. They ain't around. Well, Johnny Ringo, I didn't even know you were here. You may go now. One of the best movies ever. No argument. Hey. We got ourselves a perch, everybody. Look at him. Look at that little guy, like a sardine. Imagine if I could get into some jumbo guys like this. I'd be freaking sick. Thanks for playing, man. 
Always fun to catch a perch. Oh, look at that gill coming in. Oh my gosh. Oh no, he had it in as well. He didn't have the hook though. Oh, he's gonna eat it again. He's gonna eat it again. He's gonna eat it again. Oh my gosh. Come on, eat it, please. Please, oh my gosh, that is such a big gill. Oh my gosh. No, he's turning. Oh, he had it in his mouth. He had the wax worm and that was it. Oh, he's swimming away. Dang it. Oh, that was such a big fish. Oh, dang it. I'm upset. I am upset. There we go. Look at that. That's a nice pumpkin seed right there. Less, slightly larger than the others. Just slightly. Come down there, tiger cat. There we go. Calm down there, tiger cat. Oh, there's a nice one coming in. Left hand corner. He sees it. He's charging. He's charging. Come on. Come on. Oh, get it in your mouth, you stupid. He is tangled in. Get the decoy line. Hey, calm down there. Calm down there, Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Whatever. There we go. Another guy. I got one moving through. Come on, buddy. I don't think I need to talk every time that something comes in to eat. I think I can just uh, let it happen naturally. It's one thing that I don't like about when I do when I film is that every time that something moves through, literally anything comes in on the vexilar, comes to the spear hole, immediately just, look, there's another one coming through. Oh. Oh, he's wrapped in the spear this time. And now he's wrapped in the decoy. This fish just will not stop. It's like the WWE. This fish just will not stop. First the spear, then the decoy line, then the decoy line got wrapped on the camera. Then the fishing line got wrapped on the camera. Will this fish ever stop? There we go. Get out of here, troublemaker. Just something to do for the day. Oh, there's a pike. There's a pike. One second. I got him. I got him in the back. I didn't get a good hit on him. Get him off. Don't grab your phone. I'm gonna put my phone over here quick. You didn't even come on the decoy juice, just swimming through. Alright, we got a little bit of maneuvering here. Get the door ready. We got one tine in them. There we go. One pike. Spear house is small. Yeah, just think if you had a tall spear. Yeah, no kidding. Keep it in check. You got a backup hole. Yeah, I got it. Alright. Well, there we go. I think talking to you about not seeing any fish brought that fish in. We got a pike. He swam through the bottom. Had no interest in the decoy. He was just cruising and, uh, I was on the phone with my dad at the time. Hit him with the one tine in the back. Deep down, nine foot shot. Managed to get him. I think I'm gonna give him to my uh, my renter over there just in case they don't see anything today. Man, well, at least we got one pike today. We got a couple of pumpkin seeds and stuff like that, bluegills. Pretty good morning of fishing out here. I haven't speared in a while, to be honest. I've rented out these spear shacks, but I haven't speared myself in quite a bit, so that was quite exciting.
I think I'm going to head home now and get some stuff ready. I'm actually going to fish a charity tournament today on a lake with a buddy. So we're going to go have some fun, do that, enjoy some of the festivities. Just have a good time out on the lake. So I'm going to get out of here. We'll get ready for the day. It's going to be beautiful, sunny, warm. And it's going to be good. Anyways, if you guys like this video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe. It really does help me out. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.